Hey, Jenny Lakenan here. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to set up Google Analytics for your WordPress website so that you can get your traffic data. You can see what your website traffic is like, who, you know, how many people are visiting your site, where are they hanging out, how long are they staying? It's all really useful information. That way you can know which platforms, social media, your email, you know, Google, you can know which of those platforms are actually working for you right now as far as, you know, the marketing efforts that you're putting in. So the first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to go to analytics.google.com. And I have a couple of profiles set up already for some of my clients. So that's why I'm seeing this page. You may see a prompt if you don't have a Google Analytics profile yet. You may see a prompt to say, hey, click here to set up a profile. Wherever you're looking on the page, you just want to set up your profile. And, and typically that means you want to be looking for this like little cog, this admin cog. So I'm going to click that in the bottom left corner. And then I'm going to choose create account. And then for your account name, I usually just use like your business name. So in this case, I'm setting um, up a Google Analytics account for one of my clients, Natalie Diane. And um, then I'm gonna scroll down here. I'm just gonna leave all the de those defaults checked um, and then I'm gonna choose next. And then for the property name, I'm just gonna sort of retype in the same thing. There are ways that you can create the reason why it's asking for a property name in addition to an account name is because you can actually have multiple websites, multiple properties within a single account. In this case, the client's just going to have one. So it doesn't matter that the, that the property name is the same as the account name. Um, for the reporting time zone, I usually try to choose um, the same time zone as the website. So in this case, uh, my client is in uh, like mountain time. So I'm going to choose Denver. Um, US dollar, I'm going to leave that. You don't need to show advanced options. You can just choose next. And then after you choose next, you'll be asked to select your industry category. So you'll want to choose from here your industry. Most of my clients are life coaches. So in this case, I haven't really found that there's a great industry category for that. So I just tend to choose other business activity. Um, business size, go ahead and select your business size. And then you'll want to select from this list the things that you're trying to do with your website. That just helps Google Analytics to kind of customize your account to be um, for those things. In this case, to most of my clients are, you know, they're measuring customer engagement for sure. Optimizing the site. Yes. Measuring data across multiple devices. Yes. Um, some of my clients are running ads. And so I always go ahead and click optimizing my advertising costs, increasing conversions, measuring content monetization. You know, that's not necessarily something that my clients are doing. Like they're not running ads to their blog and having, or they don't have ads on their blog. Does that make sense? Like, um, so I don't usually check, check that box. Analyzing online sales. Sure. Yes. Some of my clients have products or courses. And so they're doing that. Measuring app installs. No, but measuring lead generation. Yes. So like in this case, just kind of pick what um, is relevant for you. Choose create. Check the agree box. You have to accept all their terms and conditions. And then you will be um, faced with this screen. And what you want to do to finish setting this up for your website is you'll want to click um, the web platform button and then it's going to ask you to set up your stream name. And this is just like a label for um, the, the container that we're going to put on your website. And so in this case, I'm going to um, go to my client site and I'm going to copy her website and then I'm just going to remove any of the like HTTPS and the slash at the end. Um, so it's really clean. And then I'm going to give it a name. I'm just going to call it Natalie Diane Coaching click create stream. And then it will say, uh, it will tell you to install your Google tag. And uh, there are a few different ways you can do this. And what I show you how to do in this video is um, how to like Google's so awesome. It like detected, oh, this website is WordPress. And it like gives you prompts of like, here are the couple of different ways you can install it. And I just think it's amazing. You almost don't even need my video because it's walking you through it step by step. So in this case, we're going to use the Monster Insights plugin. You can also use SiteKit, but I've just found Monster Insights is a little more reliable. And it tells you step by step, here's exactly how to do that. So I'm going to copy the tag. I'm going to go to my website and I'm going to install Monster Insights. And it's showing you with GIFs how to do that, which I think is amazing. So I'm just going to show you here in this video. Go to plugins on your WordPress website. Once you've logged in, you'll click plugins and then at the top, you'll click add new. And then I'm going to search for Monster Insights. Monster Insights is just the company that created this plugin. Um, and then here you'll see this little like monster icon and then you'll click install now. It'll take a second to install. And then once it's done installing, you'll want to click the blue activate button in order to actually like toggle it on.
And then it will prompt you with its little like setup wizard, which is super handy. I'm going to go ahead and click launch the wizard. And I always leave this as business site. Um, and then I click connect monster insights. It's going to pop me over to my Google account, whatever the Google account is that you logged in with on your analytics um, profile is the account you'll want to log in with here. I've got a few different ones, but I'm just going to choose the support at jennylakenan.com because that's the one that I created the profile with. You'll click allow. And then from this list, you want to search for the, um, the account name that you set up. Choose Natalie Dan Coaching. That's my client. I don't like receiving communications from Monster Insights, so I always uncheck that box. You'll click co Complete Connection. And then you'll see this page with some recommended settings. I always just leave these as the default. Click Save and Continue. I do not want uh, Google to install any of the, I don't want Monster Insights to install any of these extra plugins. That's like what it's asking me. It's like, oh, install WP Forms and SEO Toolkit and all these things. So I always just scroll down here and I hit skip, <laughs> not continue. Um, and then it says, awesome, tracking is set up. You know, I don't even know why Google tells you to copy this tag here because we don't actually need to pay, put it anywhere. Um, so anyway, that's just a, uh, if you were wondering about that. And then it's gonna prompt you to upgrade to the paid Monster Insights account. I don't think that you need to do that. Um, you can just click complete setup without upgrading. And then on this page, you'll see that we've got that um, active profile number right there. It's the same one that is here. And you'll just wanna make sure that that website profile says active and it has the same, that this code matches the tag code here. Um, and then, yeah, then you're good to go. That is how you set up a Google Analytics account. I hope that was useful. If you wanna have more tips and tutorials like this of how to use WordPress for your coaching business, definitely click subscribe so that you can um, get my next video.